Have you ever wanted to build a cool looking website like Zizo.com? Or guide a player through a specific path just like in Star Fox? Well, today's project is inspired by the Cinemachine Track on Dolly by Unity. In Cinemachine, you can set a camera on a rail to follow a specific path smoothly. But inside the React Fiber application, you're facing lines of code. You can't just drag and drop a curve on the go. So what we are going to do is to head inside Blender, open the scene where you want to set your spline, press Shift and A, Add New, Curve, Pass, set the starting position for your spline and press Tab to go into Edit Mode. E to extrude and set your path the way you want. In this case, we want it all around the track. Once you're happy with the results, we're going to export those vertices to JSON. To do so, we are going to install an add-on. Go inside this GitHub repository which is export vertices to JSON. Link will be in the description. Download the file. Inside of Blender, click on Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and select the file you downloaded. Make sure you tick the box before leaving. Alright, now we need to convert the path into a mesh. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click, convert to mesh. Then, upper window, click on Object, Apply, All Transforms. Once that's done, click on File, Export, and select the Export Vertices to JSON. What you're going to have is a file containing JSON with all the vertices data. Let's get into the code. I'm going to assume you already know how to load a 3D model inside your project. For the setup, you can see I built a use spline hook that uses a path to a JSON file which is in the public directory. A camera, a look at target, which will be explained later, and a set state on the current point and a speed factor. So what we're going to do is we're going to check if current point is inferior to points dot length minus one. And while it is inferior, we're going to lap the camera position lap to the points current point and we're going to lap it by our speed factor which is 0 0.03 speed factor and we're gonna increase the uh, current point So we can see that what it does is that it goes all around the track we set. Let's reset it. All right, it works. What we're going to do is just just like if current point is equal to points dot length minus one, we're going to set current point zero. This is our reset. Let's look if it works. As you can see, it works because it loops. The camera isn't looking in the direction the, the curves is going, which is not something we want. Because we're going to use the look at function. Look at to our next point. Mm -hmm. 
And as we can see, it goes a bit too fast, but it works the way we want. What we're going to do is that we're going to increase the current point only if the camera the position the distance to points current point is inferior to 0 0.1 so it will only change point if we reach the next point Let's look at what we got. Great. We have something that doesn't go through the buildings, but the issue is that, as you can see, it looks stag staggered. Because the reason is that the current point increases, but on the camera, we just look straight directly without animation to the, to, to the next current point. So, in order to make a more natural motion, what we're going to do is that we're going to create a mesh f is equal to look at target mesh. We we don't add any geometries or materials, so it just uh, vertices in the air, All right? Then what happened is that instead of look instead of looking at the next point, we're going to Lap the position of the mesh by our speed factor. And we're going to look at the look at target left ref. And then we have a more natural motion. As you can see, we have a smooth transition between each point. Alright, you have built your first use blind test. I left multiple code pens, all the links will be in the description to show you different case. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if the tutorial was helpful, and see you in the next one!